the avenger will be turned back. It was God who appointed the city, who commanded Moses to appoint those city. Whatever is the avenger, anyone offended, who is pursuing you for a revenge, in the mighty name of Jesus, the avenger is turned back. And the key of life you are looking for is delivered to you today. The key of life. It's not only for her. I'm, preach, I'm prophesying to everyone. The key you need to move forward. The key you need to advance. The, need, the key you need to accelerate. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. That key is delivered to you this morning. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. You may kindly take your seats. In furtherance to the theme of this month, I'll be teaching briefly on the topic, Wisdom Factor for Living Well. You know the theme of the month before us, it is, what is it? It is well with me. Praise God. It is well with me. It is well with me. It's not a prayer, but a statement of faith based on what God has done. Wisdom factor for living well. What is wisdom? Wisdom is practical knowledge that help us know how to respond to many different situations we experience in life. Wisdom. I'm not going to anoint you for wisdom. Wisdom is end. Amen. Wisdom is practical knowledge. And how do you get knowledge? Is it by anointing? You get knowledge through learning. You get knowledge through practice. That way experience comes. Wisdom is practical knowledge that help us know how to respond to many different situations we experience in life. How to respond to situations. If in the Bible study this morning, Bible training class this morning, we saw the response of Jair. Where Sisera ran to her house. If she had come out to scream, hey, Sisera, I say, she said, hey, the enemy say, the enemy say, he would have just brought out his arrow, whatever he can, and shot her dead. But wisdom dictated to Jair, calm him down. He's asking for water, give him milk. Are you getting around? Give him milk. He said, what? Well received. He disarmed himself. And say, oh, this place is good. He decided to sleep on the couch. And the woman did what? Yeah, he did what? He went to carry a big stone. Match, match, he said. That is wisdom. That is wisdom. If it were you, how would you do it? That's why I encourage you strongly to attend Bible training class. Because it teaches you how to respond to life situations. At times, there are no devil anywhere, but lack of wisdom, how to handle matters, is what brings chaos and destruction to many people. Lack of understanding. Not knowing how to handle matters, how to respond, how to react in situations. Wisdom is the key weapon that God has given to us to live well. Wisdom. Wisdom is the key factor God has delivered to us in order to live well. Look at what Proverbs chapter 1, 1 to 8 says. Proverbs chapter 1. 1 to 8. Verse 1 to 8. 
You'll be following me because I'll be reading from the message version. Message version of the Bible. Listen to the line. Praise God. These were the these are the wise sayings of Solomon, David's son, Israel's king. Written down so we will know how to live well. Did you hear that? The saying of this scripture, particularly a uh, proverb, and the word of God in entirety is written so that you do well. To know how to do what? To know how to do what? I'd like you to follow me. It's written that you may know how to do what? To live well. But well. talking about it is well. The scripture is written to guide you on how to live well. Live well and right. Can you see the foundation? That the word of God, the wisdom of God is documented for you to know how to live well. And living well is without exception. Living well physically. Living well relationally. Living well morally, living well academically in every facet of life. The word of God is written. Say, so this is written that we may know how to live well. Praise God. And to understand what life means and where it is going. Do you hear that? Wisdom teaches you to know what life means. And let me tell you something shocking about life. It's like a vapor in the morning disappears with the sun. It's like a flower that flourishes in the morning but withers in the night, in the afternoon. Some of us don't want to hear that. But that's the reality. No matter how long, life is transient. Transient means you are on a journey that will come to an end. Every journey has a destination. When you know that how that life is, you know how to live well. You know that this life, I'm not going to live forever. I was just talking to my wife this morning as we were coming. I said, look, I'm learning great lesson about life. Somebody woke up, took flight, not sick. The next thing he said, he's gone. We won't die like that. Even at 70, at 80, at 100, at 120 that you are clo talking about, according to your faith, it will soon come. It's like a day in the eye of the Lord. Wisdom. And when you know what life is, and there's a place you are going to live eternally, a place that has no end, then you will know how to live well. You know how to live well and to live right. Because you can't compare the glory and the joy of eternity with this momentary pleasure. You will not behave like Esau. Who for the joy of the moment sold off his birthright? And the Bible says he sought it with tears. He couldn't get it again. That's how it will be. Wisdom about life. I pray you get that wisdom this morning. When you do that, you begin to know how to live well. Number three is written. It's a manual for living. The Bible. The word of God is a manual for living. For learning what is right and just and fair. Let me say something. I lost a very beautiful clipper that was given to me barely two months ago. I didn't even want the person to know. Do you know what I did? 
I mistakenly take the charger of another equipment to plug in. Bam! It was gone. And the manual stated it. Don't use any other charger on these appliances. I didn't, my carelessness did not make me to give attention to the cleaver. Praise the Lord. Oh my God. I didn't ask. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. A manual for living. Many people's lives are blown off because they refuse to apply the manual to their life. That's lack of wisdom. Manual of living. I like that word. Every equipment Every product come with a man, manufacturer's instruction. Say, this is how this will function well. Being a car, being this microphone on my hand, the first thing they advise you to do, read the manual for use. Do pay attention to the manual of your life. Still, you see, there's still something for seizing men. Okay, I had jumped. Let me go to three. A manual for living, right? For learning what is right and just. Then, four, say, to teach the inexperienced the ropes and give our young people a grasp of life. Do you hear that? To teach the inexperience, the ropes, the strategy, the tactic, the technicality, the complexity of life. That life is not the way you see it. That is wisdom. That is wisdom. To teach the inexperience, the young ones, the teenagers, the children, the young adult, the newly married, to teach the young one the grasp of life that life is more than meet the eyes. Amen. There's something here also for seasoned men and women. That is, no matter how advanced you are, there's something to learn from the word of God. Still, a thing or two for the experienced to learn. Fresh wisdom to probe, to probe and penetrate the rhymes and the reasons of wise men and women. That is what takes people up there. Start with God. Are you hearing that? Is it tradition? Say, start with God. The first step in learning is bowing down to God. Only fools. Top their noses at source wisdom and learning. Only fool, snob. Do you know how to thump your noses? Focus on me, a camera. Let people who are seeing me outside. Show me on the screen. Come on. Go to the image. Can you see it very well? Did you see me? Eh? Is this way? Not today. Ah. Ah. Hey, hey, hey. Palakashan Tarabon. Only fools turn their noses. Nose. At wisdom and learning. Who has time? Bible training class. How we go? The same thing that I've seen. Is Deborah? Even though Deborah is Esther, I beg you, stay. They say yes, sir. 
We will come as you turn your back. Did you hear that? You receive the cross, yes, sir. I prefer to say, only fools thump their noses at wisdom and learning. The thing, so he, he now advised. Advice. Pay close attention, friend. So what your father to what your father tells you, never forget what you learn at your mother's knees. Those of who are still privileged to have father and mother. Praise God. Have you seen wisdom now? Verse two say it's by it you live well. By it, you maintain a family. By it, you succeed in academic. By it, you defend your empire. By it, you can build. I made a remark on my message page. I think the last remark I made, let me bring it forth now, because of the time ago. Only the wise builds on what will last. Everybody is building, but only the wise are doing what? Building on what will last. I had a story of a mother, not a friend, who bought iPhones, two iPhones, for two sons. Do you know what he tell them to go do? They tell him, say, go and learn how to press phone. Do you know what that means? Is a rolling them in 419 in Yahoo profession. Yahoo Plus. Very soon, they will graduate to Yahoo Plus, they will come back to Apica. To slaughter. A woman, you struggle. All you can do for your children. iPhones. Two healthy boys to learn how to press. You are seeing your son learning how to press. You are happy, man. May it come, may it happen to you. Eh? This was, you are not going to say, man. I say, may it happen to you. May it happen to them. Are you sure you are not, you are living just? Are you also pressing phone? Are you learning to press? From today, don't press again. The next you press will be caught. In Jesus' name. You won't prosper through pressing for. Nobody. I cannot pray for you in this assembly that you prosper through Yahoo. If you don't repent, you go to jail through Yahoo. In Jesus' name. And I will say that. He says, I can I, it is, if it's a friend to a friend, I say, is they alive? I'm talking of a mother. When something happened, them declared them one day. They say, is their neighbor in the village that killed them? That's the greatest and the bad witch. Jesus says, about two people that built, say one built. On what? On a solid foundation upon the rock. Building to last. Another one is building on the sand. Building that to collapse. Is, is there a career progression in Yahoo that you are promoted today? It's by chance. And anyway, people are becoming wiser. It's, it's, it's becoming very, very difficult to do people. I will get to my, even though you both people that they tell them that they, your name is uh, your grandfather's name is uh, Namidi and your father's name is uh, Isaac Way. So now I'm the Isaac Way Airport is a family heritage. Oh, you both are wise. They have known the history of Nigeria. Somebody used the Mutra Muhammad Airport in Lagos to dupe white people in those days. 
So what's your name? You say, I'm, I'm Mutala. I'm Muhammad is my father. We own the airport. Bam. A partnership. Things don't change. They are wise. They are also scientific way of blocking. Isn't it? So tomorrow what will happen, there will, there will not be job or income for the person. And the person has been trained to be a Yahoo expert. It distracted me. I almost dropped tears. When we are busy training, teaching people virtue that if you find what does not belong to you on the street, return it. Look for the owner and give to the person. When we are training people of integrity and character, whom God by his right hand will raise up and prosper. I know why I will never lack money in life again. In 1987, I was on the campus. I had no money to eat. And I was trekking four kilometers to, to, to school. No food, no cloth, no shoe, no money to buy book. And a lady was walking ahead of me with hunger in my stomach. And restaurants lined up, up to four, five, six restaurants. No money. Hungry. And I saw money dropping from her. Boom. That money that can afford that you, that you can hear the sound. The devil will say, you see how God answers your prayer. You are a child of God indeed. God has, I say, but I'm saying the person is falling from. I pick it. I ran after her. I gave it to her. I was pretty sure that she would remove one leaf, one note, and give it to me. And my only just to enter here, eat for that day, I say, divine provision. The lady just collected like this. Look at me, and I was not looking goodly as this. Look at me like this, collected this. No, thank you. I went. I was so annoyed. And the Lord said, You have passed the test. So I said, God, so it is a test. Say, Yes, it is a test. And things change from that day to today. You have passed the test. May you pass your test the day you were. Ex- the day you be examined. May you pass that test. The day you are examined by God for lifting and promotion. And it takes wisdom to make you pass the test. What is wisdom? Psalm 19, verse 7 to 8. The law of the Lord is perfect. Converting the soul the testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. The status of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The commandment of the Lord is pure, enlightening the eyes. Did you hear that? That is wisdom. That is wisdom. Wisdom is adhering to the, to the law of the Lord. Praise God. Giving attention to the word of God. Inclining your mind to do what the word says you should do. It gives joy. It gives gladness. It gives peace. Whosoever neglect God, neglect his word, can never go far in life. Cannot go far in life. The law of the law. If I take New Living Translation, the law of the Lord is perfect. Reviving the soul. Giving energy. Anyone who has, who pay attention to God's word has energy. Has en- what do you have energy for? What's energy for? Energy is for accomplishment. Empowering. Receive empowerment. The word of God is a source of empowerment. Reviving the soul. Giving energy to pursue goals. To make you accomplish your dream and your expectation. That is the height of wisdom. The decrees of the Lord are trustworthy. 
making the wise simple. The status, the commandments of the Lord are right, bringing joy to the heart. The commandments of the law, they are right. They make you to have joy. And the Bible says, joy is the medicine for the soul. Amen. The commandments of the law, they are right. They cause you to have joy. You feel light. You are glad. You are rejoicing. Uh, the I say, the joy of the law. Is my strength. It's not a day of mourning or crying. I have got the joy of the Lord and I have power. I have ability. I have capacity to accomplish dream. I can go far because I have joy of the Lord. And that joy is rooted in his world. It's rooted in obedience. My desire to get his world. The Bible says, See, yes, thou a man that is diligent in his work. All those are elements of wisdom. Let me just simply touch three dimensions of wisdom. Three dimensions of wisdom for the purpose of application. One, moral wisdom. Moral wisdom. Instruction on God's standards of ethical behavior. How to be wise and skillful in ethics and morals. The focus on this is on character. Should I say it in another way? Dimension of wisdom. One, the first and most or very, very important is moral wisdom. Children, especially the adults, the young adults, the teenagers, the young ones who ignore moral wisdom who have made shipwreck of their life. Without sense of condemnation, there is no need for all this single motherhood littering all over. Not because it's a decision. I want to differentiate between those who feel that I had to take this decision. They may have good reason. They may say, oh, well, I'm 35, I'm this and this and this, and no one say, I don't want to draw gold like that. I, I'm going to take a decision. I'm going to have a child. I'm not going to the merit or the merit of it, but that is a decision that they know the implication. Am I right? But for a secondary school girl to get pregnant is not out of that consideration. Am I making a point? So they drop after school and the girl child is the victim because the boy that did it is carrying no load and he's going far but you have been put at the back with shame with embarrassment and it takes God many times to bring back. And even then, you must have lost minimum of three, four years out of your life. One, for the parents to come out of it, to invest on you again. And for you to realize it's a great cost. Moral wisdom. 1985, there about when I was president of FCS. One man preached something like that and mentioned say, what will a young man use to make his way pure? He said, the proverb say, except by the word. And I broke down. I said, wow, I got a tool. I get a key. And it became, that scripture became my walking scripture. What will a young man use to make his way pure. So I apply my life. 85. I remember the meeting. I remember the, the time I have the encounter. There's no encounter that I have with God that you cannot remember. So Proverbs 4, Proverbs 4, 20 to 22 say, My son, 
attend to my words. Incline your ears unto my saying. Let them not depart from your eyes. Keep them in the midst of your heart. For they are life unto those that find them. And health to all their flesh. Did you hear that? When you give attention to God's word, they are alive. It gives you life. It gives you sound health. Praise God. Number two type, number two dimension of wisdom is functional wisdom. It's wisdom that makes you function. Make you to be at the peak of what you are doing. It's wisdom that gives you practical insights for how to go about your daily work. How to be skillful in the mechanics, in, this, in the, in the nitty gritty of what you are doing. This focuses on competence. Praise God. It's called functional wisdom. Psalm 22, I mean, Proverbs 22, 29, say, see a man that is diligent in his business, what will happen to him? He shall stand before kings. Shall not stand before mean men. Of course, what kings paid is higher than what the poor people pay. <laughs> Are you getting it right? I had a story yesterday of a woman who bakes cake, or who used to bake cake in Enugu. And he doesn't, she was not as a time, she would, she would never break cake for mean people. So they brought a lady. And the wedding was to take place in Abuja here. You look at her. She drove him in a beetle. Say, no. I hope you can pay. I don't do cake for small people. I will try. Hey, where do you say the wedding is? He said, Abuja. I don't travel by road. I go by air. Forget her arrogance. Are you getting me right? And of course, when I come, will he stay? Will she stay on the road? And the wedding was to take place in Nikon Hilton. That means she will get a room at Nikon Hilton. What gave her that sense? You know that we say, ah, why was she arrogant? No, she was only telling her standard. As at night four or 20 years, 30 years ago, the cake was 25,000. That's about one point something million now. Wedding cake. And she must fly. That's what we are saying here. It, is, it takes wisdom. For you to develop yourself to be competent in what you are doing. By the grace of God, I'm preaching this morning. I didn't just wake up. This is a work of many days. Evolving study, prayer, meditation, research, reading across, and possibly checking at times related messages. To be sure that what I'm give, giving out this morning is right. I'm not a psychologist. This is not just me a uh, psychology. This is the word of God. Functional wisdom. And that's why 2 Timothy 2, verse 18, verse 15, Paul writing to Timothy, say study. Are you getting me right? Do what? So that means learn more. Learn. Learn to improve your skills. Study. To show yourself approved. Either to God or to man. A workman that need not be ashamed. He is not a workman that will cook what my wife, my wife told, told us in folklore. Adamasu. Do you know Adamasu? Ladies, do you know Adamasu? Ah, in folklore. A woman had a daughter who would not follow her to the kitchen to cook, to learn how to cook. 
And uh, a day she was passing by, she saw the mother making soup, putting all those things. There was kerosene, there was uh, sugar, and, uh, and bitter leaf. She didn't say, Ma, how do you do this? She went. It's a happy nigga. And the mother is doing all this thing. So it did, it's, it's proposed to her. And they were to come. And the mother, unfortunately, was tied up in the market. So she had to make the food. See, we sing it with whistling of excitement. The man became so, say, ah, bitter leaf. This is where my mom was. So he carried bitter leaf, soak in kerosene, wash it with kerosene, and use sugar to blend it up and cook it. That is called Adama soup. Do you know Adama soup now? So when the people eat, the guys in law, when they say, say everybody smile, <laughs> yeah, okay, you try, you, you'll find better wife. This one, you know why king, kiss men follow you to it? They will look behind. <laughs> Actually, we are not, you know that we are just eating before we started the common coming. So they pack the food. When the ladies, before the mother even come, the man and the kinsman disappear. Adama. So. The Bible says, learn so that you will not be ashamed. Learn. It's not when you have a serious contract. You begin to ask people, eh, what do I tell them? Eh, how do I write? How do I explain? No. Amen. Study to show yourself approved. Study to attain excellence. Students that study won't bother. You know, the time they used to study is the time they are, the name now is called shocks. Shocks. We call it shocks. The time you are using to strategize how to carry shocks. Not knowing that there are some infiltrators that their name are shooks, they are spirits. They can enter anywhere and find wherever you can. Where the shooks? The shook will now shook you. May he not shook you. All you needed to do is what? Study. So that you will not be ashamed. This is wisdom for living. When you take all this together, definitely you will live well. Then, finally, relational wisdom. Have I said anything about that? How to relate with others? How to live in perfect peace and harmony? The Bible says, He pour his blessing when brethren dwell together in unity. Psalm 133, right? It's like, like, it's like Martin Hammond where he commands his blessing. So the way they together in unity is a platform for living well. There are homes that are like cat and dog. They want to have slap each other. They don't only disagree. They don't only register their anger that I don't like this. They carry it and beat. Then they will pray. That's why your prayer is not hard. It's not any Satan. And it's a function of lack of wisdom. Where there's wisdom, you try to please another person. Relational wisdom. Instruction on how to interact with other people. How to be wise and skillful in your relationship with others. The focus is on connection. When you are wise, you get good And in connection. And I pray some pastors who even know that. God has brought some old people, elderly people, maybe 50, 60, 70. Yes, you carry grace. You are telling 15, 20. He say, My son, okay, my son. Do you hear that? Okay, my son. You can okay, my son. My son, come here. You are not skillful at relationship. 
There was a meeting in the church somewhere. They invited the guest. And then, as he was singing, he said, Bishop, join me dance. Bishop, join me dance. The man just ignored him. From that time, he had never invited him again. Your wisdom will know that this person, this is how I will relate with this person. Relate. You should know how to relate with those ahead of you, those who are equal, and those that are below you. Wisdom. Do you know if I enter a walk with you, even 15 year old boy, if he's not wise, he will treat me as, as his mate. Praise God. Even in the congregation. Yes, yeah, spiritual father. There's none of you I have ever called my son and daughter. No. There are those that can come, there are those I will never call. I give the right tattoo that befits your age. If you are my mate, I dress my right. And the one sons that God has given to me, there's the way I talk to them. I can't talk to them the way I talk to, 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 to them the way I talk to them. Relational with and people say, this means it. man wants uh, respect to. He say, don't worry, he doesn't bother, he bothers. There's nobody who doesn't value respect. Give honor to whom honor is due. Say, give Caesar what belongs to Caesar. I believe, give God. Time has come. Let me just end. In Romans 12, 9 to 13, say, let love be without dissimulation. Let love be without deceit. You hear that? Don't deceive in love. Don't tell him, even he's a member of your unit, a member of the church, a member of the family. Don't pretend. Don't do to just a start to just to your advantage. The day he discovered or she discovered, you are broken the relationship and you are broken the connection. Don't do as you want to help someone when you actually want to extort him. Say, be kindly affection one to another with brotherly love. In honor, preferring one another. In honor. Everybody is a tattoo to your respect. Everybody. Including to the younger child in the church is a tattoo to my respect. It's a tattoo. If you don't know how to respect people, you never get a connection. Is somebody with me? This is wisdom how to live well. I need to stop at this point. But remember the remark I made earlier. Anything that must last must be used on the foundation of wisdom. Business that must last must have the right application of wisdom. Many companies, many enterprises, many relationships have failed. Many marriages have crashed due to lack of wisdom. I pray today that the ornament of your crown today, dressed today with the ornament of wisdom. Let us rise to pray that wisdom will show in your action. Wisdom will show in your character. Wisdom will show in your relationship. You are the one that they'll be clapping. You are the one to do bezetting and they are clapping. Hey! Hey! You are the one walking naked. They are clapping. The day they are looking for wife, they will, they will not come to you. Those same young men. They say, this girl, the hype. This one is the hype. Where, where? And then when they say that, you now do to show like this. They are the hype. The day they are going to take one, say, this one is the hype. They go to one that don't hide. The same applicable to men. You see your head, they just say, guess, say, ah, this one a guy. Now, guys, so go and talk to say, no, 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 sorry. Actually, uh, 
I'm engaged already. In fact, they will wear seven rings to show that they are really married. Engaged, engaged, first year, two year, three year, so that you will go. Do you know why? You are a guy. They can't trust their life into your hand because you are a guy. Is somebody learning wisdom? Is the manual of life. When you do all that is said, then it will be well with you. I pray today, according to his word, that it will be well with you. In the mighty name of Jesus. It's well with your going out. It's well with your coming in. It's well with your career. It's well with your dream. It's well with your business. It's well with your body. It's well with your family. In the mighty name of Jesus. What you are building will last. You are building to last because you build on the application of wisdom. Anything that does not last is not worth going for. And only wisdom can make you build to last. Your dream will last. Your accomplishment will last. In the mighty name of Jesus. Say that to yourself. Pray that to yourself in a minute. Just pray to yourself. Ask God what I heard today. It is well with me. Because I receive wisdom, moral wisdom, moral wisdom, moral wisdom, moral wisdom. I receive moral wisdom, functional wisdom, and relational wisdom. Three types of wisdom. Morality. Somebody should be able to trust something in your hand and come back to meet it. Morality. Moral wisdom. You are not a cheat. You are not a thief. You are not just a deceiver. You are not just an extortionist. You love God. You can be trusted with wealth. There are many competent people, but men of integrity are few. People are looking for whom to put in charge. They have a certificate, but they are looking for men and women that they can trust, that they can put something in their, under them. Somebody they can trust and go to sleep. I gave a job to one worker two months ago. And I was going out, so I dropped uh, two bags of cement and collected money for two. The work needed two bags of cement. Praise the Lord. As soon as we left, he refused to buy the cement. And the small one that he had, he turned it to color and spread it all over. When you go out, check that classroom that was done less than two months ago. They have all opened up. So he came to do work for me another time. I said, you are a thief. I can't give you work again. You are what? You are a thief. I didn't know him then, so I sent him to go and work in our school at Kalu. And by the time he had access to my office, because I asked him to sleep there, trust by the time he was going, he packed all the soaps and the uh, toiletries for the school. Not one was left. The school administrator told me. So automatically he has lost job. And I told me I had another job that you have earned him a lot of money. I said, you are a thief. I'm not giving you. Don't block your tomorrow. All because of something less than 20,000. Deny him a job that you have earned. Before I would have done, he had earned 400,000 plus. Can you see your wisdom? I hope I'm not talking to somebody like that. Somebody is testing you. If victim can be committed to your hand. Say, Lord, I have wisdom for morality. I have wisdom for competence. And I have wisdom for good relationship. In the name of Jesus. When they are looking for people to put in charge, I'll be the one. I will not fail the kingdom. I will not fail you. And that's my platform for lifting. Just put your hand together and celebrate the God. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' precious name.